I've known Leslie since uh, August of 1967. That's when I arrived at Washington College. And she was uh, <coughs> this, uh, this wild, quite beautiful uh, dancer. I've also known her through her unusual leadership of the Kent County Arts Council. When the, when the State Arts Council had the meeting a couple of years ago at the Garfield, remember? Mm -hmm. And we were all there. In a, and the big honcho of the State Arts Council. And I walked up to her and I said, I, I don't know whether you remember me. She said, oh yes, I remember you played at such and such. Thing. And I said, yeah, well, we're so glad you're here. I said, we're so fortunate to have Leslie. And she said, yes, it's quite unusual leadership, isn't it? <laughs> I think Leslie's the architect of, or has been, of so many artistic projects. Um, and you don't just go to Leslie for funding because you've got an idea. She's got ideas. She's got an incredible way of weaving people and projects together. I remember being in a dance class with Leslie in the 70s. I'm not a dancer, but somehow <laughs> Leslie made me a dancer. You know, Leslie had befriended me because we were in dance classes together. You know, she would come and, and, and do dance stuff at the college. That's right. And I'd gotten to know her, and so she, um, asked me to play the pilot in a little Kent Players production of The Little Prince. It was like, oh, you can do this. You'll be wonderful, you know. And Without the support of somebody like a Leslie Raymond, uh, you know, you, you, can only, you only have, you only can only go so far. I mean, really, with your confidence and your, you know, willingness to stretch and push and take chances. And, you know, she's all about that. She's been an ear to me. We done cried. We done laughed. We done talked. She comes out the house and just out the house and just flops herself on on the sofa, and we just get to gab it, you know. But um, she's just she's always been there. In always. And I continuously refer to Leslie as my muse yeah. um, because the 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 way her brain works is so creative, so community focused, um, so inclusive that really um, I, I can't imagine anyone else I would have wanted to learn from. I, I owe it all to Leslie that I stayed in Chestertown, that I stayed in love with theater because I started doing things with Kent players right. as, a, as an undergrad because I didn't feel like I could do anything at the college. Um, she, I think, has a real gift for in a very self-effacing way bringing out the sense of self in other people, particularly women artists who I think often are a little shy about presenting themselves. I think... Um, she would say, um, she would always tell me, you need to get to know people. <laughs> You know, because names just don't, I'm not just, you know, I can see your face and maybe remember, but she would tell, always tell me that you need to get to know these people around here, you know. Vincent Leslie, I think, came to everything that I did and, you know, sat in the front row. I mean, how awesome is that? That's, that's like having your parents there. I mean, she's old, she'll pop up anywhere. <laughs> Pop up anywhere I sing, you know. Yeah, she had to work, you know. She had she had, she had to to know who could do it, and then kind of say, "You've got to come and be part of uh, right." This. The Mar Marlon Saunders Marlon concert Saunders. when Marlon was a senior in high school, she produced a concert for him. Come on, everybody, you gotta get up. Vincent and Leslie, both of them had this philosophy that that bringing art to as many people as you can is an, an extremely important thing. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood in human veins. It was this whole notion of that performance of that sort was really important in the in the you know the, the the way a community sees itself, 
um, always, just like with the 100 Voice Choir. She, she supported. She supported me. She was one of my main supporters with the 100 Voice Choir. It's like I have a vision, and she helps me work it out. She's always been there for us, and everybody in the choir knows who Leslie Raymond is because I'm grateful for Leslie. You know, but Leslie just kind of went her way. You know, and. Uh, we always knew that one her one of her primary things had to do with people who were uh, unappreciated, the minority community. So she always had this uh, this agenda uh, of working with people on all kinds of levels. And, uh, she knew a lot of the um, of the community that I didn't know, and diversity has always been part of Leslie's influence. You know, I think that her influence in the community in general, not just in the arts community, um, has been enormous. And um, her, her attention to the minority populations in um, Chestertown and Kent County has been unflagging. Unflagging. She All people in this county trust, know, and will work with Leslie. And again, she can be the one who bridges divides and has been the one to bridge divides. And she's made it possible for that reconciliation, that healing to happen. You're right. It's not just about uh, the writing of the checks, as, as you say. It's... Um, she knows everything that she's doing. Well, yeah. I think that something that could be said about Leslie is she's still hot to trot. I mean, the Arts Council is going to be bigger and better and more incredible than ever. She's leaving a terrific legacy. And that's the great thing. Leslie's been the glue that's held everything together. But there's no danger that things are going to fall apart because she has created such a strong fabric. Uh, I don't think there's anyone else who has pulled a community together or kept a community together as well as Leslie has. Every time I feel the spirit moving in my heart, I pray. Every time I feel the spirit.